Today I'll show you how to use Profile Press to create a paid newsletter subscription. So I already have Profile Press installed. We can see its menu item over here on the left hand side. I'll also leave a link in the description to a video that shows you how to install and configure Profile Press. Now it's also important to have your payment settings configured as well. I'll go to settings, then I'm going to click on the payments tab. And here we have some payment settings such as currency and checkout settings. If we go to payment methods, we'll see a list of different payment services and we'll need to have at least one of these set up. So I already have PayPal configured, but I'll leave links in the description to videos that show you how to set up PayPal, Stripe and Razorpay. All right, so we are going to continue by going to add-ons on the left. And on this list, I'll scroll down to find MailChimp. Let's activate MailChimp. And once the page refreshes, we'll go back and click on settings. So here we'll need to get our API key from MailChimp. So I'm going to open MailChimp in a new tab. And once I'm on this page, I'll go to my dashboard. Now I'm going to click on the username in the bottom left hand corner and I'll click on profile. Now let's go to extras, then API keys. Now on this page, we'll see a bunch of API keys that were created in the past. We need to create a new one. So we'll scroll down to click on create new key. All right, so now we need to give this a name. I'm going to call it newsletter test. All right, let's generate this key. Let's copy it and we'll go back to profile press settings. We'll paste it in this field. Now we don't need to enable a checkout subscription checkbox, so we'll leave this unchecked, but we do need to enable AutoSync just so that we can have changes in our WordPress user base push to MailChimp automatically. Now the final option here gives us a sync tool that we can use to import our WordPress users to MailChimp. But for this example, we don't need to use this. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this out. Now let's click on save changes. Okay. So we have successfully set up the communication between profile press and MailChimp. Now we'll go to tabs on the left to create a custom tag for our newsletter audience. Let's name this something simple like paid newsletter. All right. Once it's done, we'll go back to profile press and from here, we'll click on add new audience, then enable audience. Now we need a title. Let's call this newsletter. And below this, we can see our audience from MailChimp. Now we'll go ahead and map two fields. Let's do first name and last name. If you want to, you can go ahead and map the others. Now we'll go down to default tags and we'll choose paid newsletter, our tag in MailChimp, and we'll click on save changes. Okay. So once that is done, we'll go to membership plans on the left. Now we already have a pro plan here, but I'm going to create one just for our newsletter. I'll also leave a link to a video about membership plans in the description. All right. So right now I'm just naming this plan. I'm calling it paid newsletter and we can also add a description. So I'll just paste one in there. If you want, you can add a purchase note and for user role, we are going to keep this default option. Now let's set the price for this membership plan. I'll make this a dollar and 99 cents. So the billing frequency is set to monthly. We can keep this. We'll also keep the subscription length the same, but if you want, you can change it. We don't need a sign up fee either, so we can skip this. And we also have the option to enable a free trial. We don't need this for our example, so we are going to scroll down to downloads and integrations. Here we just want to select MailChimp in the tab on the left. And for our audience, we'll go ahead and select newsletter. Once we have everything set up, we can scroll back up and click on save plan. So now it gives us a checkout URL that we can copy and use anywhere on our website. So as an example, I'm going to create a new post. Let's call it test. And let's add a button for the text. I'll say subscribe to our newsletter and I'm going to add the checkout link that we copied. Next, I'm going to publish the page and I'll open it in a new incognito window. So I'll click on the button and that will take us to our checkout page. So basically a user will just fill out this form and click on PayPal and a PayPal pop up would open where the customer would need to fill out their information, then pay. And since they are signing up for a membership, they would also need to confirm their email. And if you were to go to profile press on the left hand side, then orders, you would see the status of the transaction. So in our case, it's complete. That means the payment was successful. So if we go back to the audience page in MailChimp and refresh, we are going to see the user that we just registered. All right. So now we can go ahead and create our newsletter. Let's go to all campaigns and you can create a new campaign if you want, but I'm going to edit this one. And this is basically a test email. Now at the top, I'm going to click on edit recipients and under segment or tag, we'll select paid newsletter. Now you don't need to do this, but I'll just go ahead and personalize the two field in the menu. I'll choose first name, then save. Now I'm going to add a random subject and preview text. 
then I'll save it and send it. All right, so let's go ahead and view the email. Now let's refresh the page. And there's the email. So I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.